Jackie, aka The Juicy Chef, and welcome to the Nyam and Trod Home Bar Cocktail Series. So the drink that we're doing today is very festive. It's the taste of the Caribbean. It is sorrel. Every Caribbean island has a rendition of sorrel. It's, you know, funny, a lot of cultures have these red drinks, like in Senegal they have bisap or whatever. Okay. But this, this beautiful little sepal or petal, whatever people call it, makes the most beautiful drink, especially if you like spicy drinks. It's floral, we put ginger, and everybody's some different. It does something different. Yeah, because some people have cloves, some people have pimento, ginger. Well, ginger's usually in it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it should be, right. It's a staple. So, you know it's a trend here, we keep using ginger, but the truth is... Some people use cinnamon in it. Cinnamon too, cinnamon. yeah, I've had it with cinnamon. Right. Um, ginger is like our spice, and so typically for uh, for Christmas, uh, New Year's, um, it's an end of year drink. Now you could get sorrel year round. A lot of drink companies have sorrel all year round, but me personally, nothing beats homemade sorrel so, juice. Yeah, and I, sorry, exactly it. right. Yep. And you know, it's funny you say that. I because I love sorrel so much, and it's something I want to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Even though I may have it a couple times a year and I know the health benefits, as, as yolks of rich, etc., I still try not to drink too much because I want something to look forward to. You know, Christmas in Jamaica, the type of gungu peas, you know, and, and, and sorrel, and just certain, you know, you have well, spice cake. Spice cake, oh my god, a rum cake, some people call it, or black cake. Um, you know, ham, or somebody like you doesn't eat pork, or Christmas, smoked Christmas ham, you know, or something like that. Chicken, you know, to me, it's just such a beautiful time of the year. So, but we don't want you guys just to relegate this to the festive period. It can be used at other times. Because as we're telling you, you know, it's sorrow's available year round. But this, we have Christmas and New Year's in mind for this drink. Um, and we wanted to do a different twist. Instead of rum, um, which is typical, yeah. we wanted to use gin. And or, again, thank you to or Slex. Wine. Or wine. wine. You can use wine too. Yeah. You know, you could use Prosecco as well. But we wanted to do a sorrel gin and tonic because we have this lovely, lovely Hendrix gin from Select Brands. And the floral notes, the rose, and, and again, you know, we mentioned, you know, the spices, you know, and we just thought, okay, you know, let's create something, you know, which features this lovely gin with our local spices. And again, our good old friends, Fever Tree Tonics, we're gonna use both tonic and ginger, you know, to kind of add a little, you know, Christmassy element. But again, we say you could use this all year round. If you want to use straight tonic, you could do that. If you want to use straight ginger beer or ginger ale, yeah. Yeah. you could use that as well. So, uh, Kino, over right. to you. Thank you. All right. We are gonna use and uh, that's 120 milliliters for metric people again. Yeah. That's <laughs> our math. <laughs> Homemade plain. We made this juice plain. We didn't put anything because we know we have to um, add the elements of these spices. So it's just a plain homemade sorrel. But again, if you have your spicy sorrel, then you won't need to use this spice syrup. But because we just made a plain version, we added that depth with the spice syrup. Because it's a festive drink, we wanted to have some sexy crystal. So again, we said if you want to take it up a notch, if you don't mind mixing two different alcohols, you could put champagne, prosecco, but we're making it a little lighter. So we're using a bit of ginger beer and toilet water. So it's 
lovely and bubbly and festive and spicy and floral and whew, delicious. <laughs> Yep. And, and okay, we're gonna turn over the garnish too. Yeah, he always is like Jackie. You do the garnish. You're the creative one. You do it. So again, we've just got some good slices of ginger. We've added, you know, we've left on the the skin. You could take it off if you want, but that's extra fiber and nutrition there. And then the, these beautiful sorrel sepals. So let's float those. You could use one or two, and. Jamaica's other spice, the rest of you know it is all spice. You know, there's a, yeah, we call it pimento. And this spice, Jamaica used to produce 70% of the world's all spice. Um, trees have decimated and declined, so we don't produce as much, but there's nothing, nothing, absolutely no all spice like the Jamaica pimento. Just gonna float a couple seeds on there. That's a beauty, eh? Yep. Yeah, very nice festive. Very, festive very nice and simple. So whether it's for your Christmas uh, dinner party, your New Year's lime, you know, um, or you know, just throughout the season. Again, like we said, it doesn't have to be just for Christmas because you can get Caribbean sorrel year round now. But for us, you know, we personally prefer it. Doing this, this yeah 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 season. this is like a taste of the season for us so we hope you enjoy yeah, our rendition so uh time to taste. yeah time to taste <laughs> mm. wow. yeah. that's that's the boss yeah, that's, that's nice it's light and refreshing you know sometimes People, they have a, what we say, a heavy hand with a rum. You're like, woo, you know, you drink a couple of sips, you're like, oh my God, it's over. Let me crawl into my bed. This is perfect. It's, it's easy sipping, it's light, it's refreshing. Um, this would be lovely with your Christmas cake, your, your Christmas ham. Um, it's, it's delightful. Yes. Yeah, I really like it. Yes. Cheers again. Thank you for joining us for another Nyam and Trot episode of the Home Bar Cocktail Series. Take care and see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.